guys, my name is Taste. Welcome back to another Taste Test. I love doing these. Today we're sampling the four finalists in the 2015 Lay's Do Us a Flavor Canadian version. Last episode I did the American version. Today is the Canadian version. Now, who are the four finalists? Here we go. I'm going to show you no particular order. First up, we have PEI Scallop Potatoes. Yummy, yummy. Next, we have Cowboy Barbecued Beans. Oh boy, those sound good. Next, we have Montreal Smoked Meat. And the last one is Butter Chicken. All of them sound good. Now, let's get into it. Which one should I pick first? I have no idea. Now, before I start, I want to tell you guys that Lay's, I don't know if they do this in the States, but in Canada, they picked a finalist from each section of the country. One from the Far East, and then Middle, Middle, and then Far West. So, let's go from coast to coast. Starting on the East Coast, my coast, where I'm from, East Canada, we have, there you go, Atlanta, Canada finalist, PEI Scallop Potatoes. Now, PEI is short for Prince Edward Island. That's a province right near me. I live in New Brunswick. About an hour or so away from me is PEI. Now, this uh, thing was sent in. This flavor was sent in. There you go. Jordan Carnes. Nice looking dude. Now, scallop potatoes are a favorite around here. This looks very cheesy. It's a normal chip. Let's crank into these and see what they taste like. <laughs> All right, there you go. There's what it looks like. Ooh, take one, go ahead. Go ahead, there you go. Mm. Okay, let me smell them. They just smell like regular potato chips to me. All right, let's get in here and grab one. Ooh, look at that, regular chip. None of these are kettle cooked. There's either regular, I think there's three regular, one ripple. So no kettle cooked, which is good. I don't know why anyone would want a chip that's so hard it can bite the inside of your mouth or cut the inside of your mouth. But there you go, there's a chip. Ooh, look at it. Oh, so nice. There. All right. Now let's take a let's take a taste. I got my water. Okay, let's go. Mmm. Oh, these are good. Cheesy. Mmm. These are a cheesy type potato because the the main ingredient or the main part of this thing is potato. It's like a regular potato chip with uh, cheese on it. Mmm, very, very good. These are really good. <laughs> Yummy. Ha-ha, <laughs> Atlanta, Canada. Yes, you did good. Very good, Jordan. Awesome. Those are really good. You like a cheesy chip. Very good. Okay, stick some water. Clean that out. I enjoyed those. Those are really good. All right, moving east a little bit more. I should say moving west a little bit more. The next finalist is in Quebec. Montreal smoked meat. Now, in the American version, they had a, um, uh, I forget what type of sandwich it was, something like Montreal smoked meat. But this one, I'm not even going to attempt to say the guy's name. Check it out. See if you can see his name. Oh, let me see. The lights are a little bright on his name. I'll try to say it. Sadravko Gunjevich. Sadravko Gunjevich. There you go. Hard to say his name. But there's a nice picture of the guy, another good looking guy. Us Canadians are good looking, what can we say? All right, now this should be probably similar to the one, the American one, let me see. Mmm, that smells good. Look at that, take a look in there, there you go. There you go. Now all these bags are 170 gram bags. I remember back in the day, we used to get them for like, you know, uh, 240 grams, then they went down to 220, and then 200, now they're down to 170, and these were $2.50. In the States, you probably get them for right cheap. Okay, these smell like a smoky type barbecue at the moment. So let me see. Let me get in here and get one. There you go. It's just a regular chip. Looking good. Let's go. Oh. Ooh. You can taste it just like the American one. You can taste the smoked meat, but this one is slightly different than the American one. This actually tastes like a Montreal smoked meat. Wow, they really, they nailed this. This is exactly what it's supposed to taste like. That is really good, wow. Very good, well, so far two for two. These are really good chips. Zdravko Gunjevich. Oh, awesome name too. Really good. So far, two for two. These taste like a smoked meat sandwich. Wow. 
Usually I have chips with my sandwich. Now it's going to be weird because I'm going to have my chip taste like a sandwich. That's pretty neat. All right. Moving on west, we have the Ontario finalist. It's Butter Chicken. This one was sent in by Daryl Francipilli. Francipilli? I can't... Hopefully I get these names. Why can't anyone just have a name like Steve Smith? There you go. I don't know if you can see his name. Francipilla? Pile? Look at this guy. Another nice looking dude. There you go. I'm telling you, us Canadians really know how to do it. All right. There you go. Butter chicken. Let me see what this says. Butter chicken, some type of... Uh, let me see what it says about this. Is there anything about it? No? No. Okay. Butter chicken. Right into this one. Let's see. Again, this is just another normal chip. No kettle cooked in this one. Thank goodness. That's my least favorite chip. There you go. That's what it looks like inside the bag. All stick the same. Go on. Take one. Leave one. What? Hey, leave one for me. I got to taste it. All right. There you go. Ooh, this one smells. This one does have a smell. Ooh, it's like a smoky, smoky type flavor. All right. Now, there you go. There it is. Ooh. Ooh, this side has lots of flavor to it. All right, let's see what this tastes like. Mmm, mmm. It has a little bit of curry taste and butter. Those are really good too. Now, the American version, once I was done, I kept uh, my favorite, the biscuits and gravy one. The other three I sent over to my parents so they could eat them, because I didn't really like them all that much compared to the, this one. Compared to biscuits and gravy. But so far, I think I might be keeping all these. This is another good flavor. There's a hint of a spice, curry or something. And I can taste the butter in the chicken. It's really, really good. Those are really excellent. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, I, you can taste the curry. There's a little bit of curry in it. That's awesome. All right. The last finalist we have is from Western Canada, and I gotta give you props because this one's a rippled, and now these are popular, and we have like rodeos and stuff out west, and they always give barbecued beans out there. They're supposed to be really good. I'm not a big bean lover, but these, I have a feeling, are gonna taste barbecue because it says barbecue right in, right in the title. Rippled barbecue, yummy, yummy. Hopefully that's what it is. These were sent in. The, the idea was from Brenda Bogheen. There you go, there's Brenda. Brenda Bogging. All right, good luck, Brenda. And good luck to everyone. I wish you guys could all win. Next year, I'm, I'm putting my submission in. I'm going to win. There you go. All right, let's get in here. Oh, those look good. Okay, they smell. There's a smokiness to them. The smell. There you go. That's what it looks like. Ooh, I like ripple chips. Nice. Okay, let's take one. Let's, actually, let's take a drink of water. Hey, clean the palate. Okay, there you go. There you go, rippled. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so good. How can you not like rippled chips? All right. I think it's going to taste barbecue. What do you guys think? Here we go. Hmm. Of all the ones I had, these ones have the least amount of flavoring. They're good. But they should be a little bit more barbecuey. They're they are barbecuey, but it doesn't hit you hard with barbecue. It's a slight taste. Let me try another one of these. I want to get another taste. These are interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they're smoky and good. These are really good too. Oh, he jumped. Wow, those are like a light, smoky barbecue ripple chip. Awesome. Very good, Brenda. I like them all. I think I'm going to be keeping them all. I'm not giving anyone any bags away. All right. Now, all great flavors, but who do I like or what do I like? Which flavor from fourth to first? This is going to be hard. Oh, wow. Okay. Coming in fourth, and this has, uh, keep in mind that what I think it has nothing to do with the contest. I think they're all great chips, but some I like really good and some are okay. I like them all though. So what? Let me see. Coming in fourth for my personal taste is butter chicken. Great flavor. I loved it. I just like the other three a little bit better. Good luck, Daryl. I hope you win. 
Now, coming in third, let me see. Okay, coming in third is Montreal Smoked Meat. I'm not a big fan of, of smoked meat, but this is, of all the, of all the uh, finalists, this one tastes exactly what the picture is. It tastes just like a Montreal Smoked Meat sandwich. So if you like smoked meat, you're going to absolutely love these chips. But for me, great chip. I liked it, but I liked the other two a little bit better. So this one is getting third place. But Zadravko, good luck on the contest, buddy. Okay, number... Ooh, this is, this is really tough. This I might be biased. Okay, coming in second is the Cowboy Barbecue Beans. I like barbecue flavor to begin with. This is a slightly smoky barbecue, and I love the fact that they're rippled. Really good flavor. I wish there was a little bit more barbecue flavor to it, but we already have barbecue, so this is just a little bit different. So, Brenda, there you go. Good luck in the contest. And, of course, number one for me is the PEI Scallop Potatoes. I might be a little, a little bit biased because it's from my part of the country, but I love potatoes. I love cheese. This is a great mix together. There you go. PEI Scallop Potatoes, one of my favorites. I like them all, really. I, I, I could almost do this taste test again and probably have a different top four. But there you go, Jordan. I think I like your chips the best. Good job, buddy, and good luck in the contest. Now, who do I personally think is going to win? I have a feeling Lay's always goes for something unique. Well, last time they did. So I'm going to go with that one again. And I believe because of you, of its uniqueness flavor, it's going to come down to one of these two. Butter chicken or Montreal smoked meat. And I have a feeling that butter chicken is the one that's going to win. I believe it's it's the most unique flavor. The smoke, Montreal smoked meat. Wow, does it ever taste like a Montreal smoked meat? But this one is unique uh, flavor. Is it either this one or Montreal smoked meat that's going to win? The the baked beans it, more like a barbecue, and my my favorite the scalloped potatoes is more like a cheesy chip, which I think there's enough of those around. But this one is unique. It's going to be this one or Montreal smoked meat. But I'm picking this one, butter chicken, Daryl Frenza Pillay. There you go. That's who I think. Lay's is going to pick. There you go, guys. There's all the chips. Now, before I leave, I got a special bonus for you. You guys know how I love poutines and all that. I show it in my blogs and what poutines are and everything. Well, I went to the grocery store the other day and check it out. Ruffles poutine. So I had to buy them and taste them for you guys. Invented right here in Canada. What it is, is fries topped with gravy and cheese all put together. It's so good. You got to try it. And it's even better when you put a little bit of hamburger or something in it. Oh, it's to die for. But anyways, I saw these. I had to taste them. Let's go. I'm taking some water. Little bonus taste test for you. I'm really looking forward to these. All right. Of course, they're ripple because they're ruffles. Let me th take a smell. They smell like smoky bacon. Oh, oh they smell good. All right. Here you go. That's what it looks like inside. They smell like smoky bacon or, or sour cream and bacon. Some type of bacon-ish in it. There you go. Now, let's take one. There you go. Ripple. Oh, there's a little crack in that one. Let's get a better one. Let's get one. There you go. <laughs> there. There you go. Please let this taste like fries, gravy, and cheese. All right, here we go. Oh, these are pretty good. Let me let me taste another one just to make sure. They're not as good as a poutine. But they're pretty good. I do, however, like some of these flavors that I just did better than these ones. But these are really, really good. But I don't think you can ever get the real authentic flavor of poutine in a chip. But these are good. So good attempt, Ruffles. Oh, you guys got to try poutine. All right. There you go. There's another edition of Taste Test. Let me guys know if you've had any of these flavors. I know they're only from Canada. But let me know if you have and tell me your favorite. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, as always, I'm your Canadian Ginger Taste. Bye-bye.